Hello friends, welcome to VDH Academy and here in this section we are going to deal with graph of a trigonometric function sin 2x in the interval 0 to pi. So in order to discuss a graph we need an equation. So let us write this function in the form of equation y equal to sin 2x. And now let us find the values of y corresponding to the different values of x in a table. So here there is a table. And in the first row, we are going to write the values of x which lies between 0 to pi. So let us begin with the radian 0. Then we have 30 degrees which can be written as pi by 6. Then 60 degrees which is pi by 3. 90 degrees which is pi by 2. Then 120 degrees which is 2 pi by 3. And then 150 degrees that is 5 pi by 6. And at last 180 degrees which can be written as pi. And now in the second row we are going to find the values for 2x. So 2x is nothing but 2 times of the values of x. So 2 times of 0 is 0. Then 2 times of 30 degrees is 60 degrees which can be written as pi by 3. And then 2 times of 60 degrees is 120 degrees. So here we can write this in the form of 2 pi by 3. And here we get 2 times of 90 which is 180 degrees which is pi. And then 2 times of 120 which is 240 degrees which can be written as 4 pi by 3. And then we have the next radian which is 150 degrees. So 2 times of 150 will be 300 degrees which can be written as 5 pi by 3. And the next value here will be 2 times of 180 which is 360 degrees. So we get here 2 pi. And now in the third row we are going to find the values of y corresponding to the different values of 2x in the equation y equal to sin 2x. So by substituting the value of 2x which is 0 here in the equation we get y equal to sin 0. And the value of sin 0 is 0. So we get here 0 as the value of y. And then we have 60 degrees. So by substituting 60 degrees we get sin 60 degrees. And the value of sin 60 is root 3 by 2. So here root 3 by 2 can be written as 1.732 divided by 2. So that implies we get here 0 0.866 as the value of root 3 by 2. So here we get 0 0.866. And then here by substituting 120 degrees we get sine 120. So the value of sine 120 can be written as sine 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. And this is in the form of sine 180 minus theta which is equal to sine theta. So here we get sine 60 degrees and the value of sine 60 is root 3 by 2 which is nothing but 0 0.866. So here we get 0 0.866. And then the next radian 180 degrees. So sine 180 degrees is equal to 0. So here we get 0 as the value of y. And then the next radian 240 degrees. So sine 240 can be written as sine 180 degrees plus 60 degrees. And this is in the form of sine 180 plus theta which is equal to minus sine theta. So here we get minus sine 60 degrees which is equal to minus root 3 by 2. So here we get minus 0 0.866. And then we have 300 degrees. So sine 300 degrees can be written as sine 360 degrees minus 60 degrees. So this is in the form of sine 360 degrees minus theta which is equal to minus sine theta. So here we get minus sine 60 degrees which will be equal to minus root 3 by 2 and here we get minus 0 0.866 and the next radian which is 360 degrees so sine 360 degrees is equal to 0 so here we get 0 as the value of y and now let's plot different values of y corresponding to the values of x on a graph sheet so here we have a coordinate plane where the horizontal line is called x-axis and the vertical line is called as y-axis and the point of intersection of both the axes is called origin. So here this is the origin. And now let us plot the different values of x on x axis. And now let us plot the values of y on y axis. And now we have an order pair say 0 comma 0. So let us plot this order pair. So 0 comma 0 is nothing but origin. So here we get a point on the origin. And then for x equal to 30 degrees we have the value of y as 0 0.866. So here we get a point where pi by 6 and 0 0.8 intersects. And the next radian which is pi by 3 and its value is 0 0.8. So here we get a point and the next radian which is 90 degrees and its value is 0. So here we get a point as the value of y is 0. So the point lies on x-axis. And the next radian 2 pi by 3 
we get a value as minus 0 0.8. So here we get a point. And for x equal to 150, the y value is minus 0 0.8. So here we get a point. And the next radian is 180 degrees. So for x equal to 180, we have the value of y as 0. So here we get a point on x axis as the value of y is 0. And then by joining all these points, we get a curve. And this curve is named as y equal to sine 2x in the interval 0 to pi. So this was the basic introduction on how to draw a graph of a trigonometric function y equal to sine 2x in the interval 0 to pi. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.